you. Thanks for being with us. This is such a neat thing for me because um, we haven't been able to do this for over a year now. Uh, but Robin Bailey Orchard has brought in a group of junior high students from Indiana Junior High to visit with us. Hi, everybody. How you doing? Hi. 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 I'm good. Wow. Yeah. Good. All, of you, you? all of you seem to be awake. Oh, that yeah. is really good. Yes. <laughs> <Okay. They're actors. laughs> all right. Who's my spokesman that's going to tell me what the play is? Not it. Not it. Not it. Not oh, come on. <laughs> Is that what you have to do? You have to yeah. touch yeah. your nose? Yeah, that's what we did while filming. I didn't know that. It's a you, law. you touch your nose and, that, and say not it, and which means you're it. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. introduce yourself. Tell us all about it. Uh, I'm Micah Wigner. Uh, make sure to buy your tickets on IJHS Drama at booktix.com. Mm-hmm. For the play, they which is? For the play that's Yearbook Reflections. Yearbook Reflections. Show times, days. The they are Saturday at seven thirty and Sunday at two p.m. <laughs> for five dollars. See, they all elected you to do this, and you did not agree to it, did you? <laughs> not, not really. All right, so um, uh, let's all and let's introduce everybody that's in the studio with us. We have four students with us, uh, and you've already introduced yourself. So next to you is standing. Your turn. Hi, my name is Sam Nepper. Okay. Uh, and uh, we'll get into roles and, and how this is all constructed. The ladies are to my right. Good morning to you. Morning. Hi. Hi. And you are? Oh, um, my name is Lizzie Villa. I'm Maisie Bonick. Okay. We're going to have to get you to speak up on that mic. It's not picking up as well. So get out your big theater voices, okay? I'm Maisie Bonick. <laughs> oh, and I'm, my name is Lizzie Villa. Oh, boy, you guys are good there. We're, we're liking that. So Yearbook Reflections is the name of it? Yes. Okay, Maisie, you're going to start with me here. You're going to tell me what what happens in this and uh, and and what you do in it. Uh, is it uh, is it a role that you're playing? Uh, yeah, I play uh, Susan. That's one of the four leads. We each play a lead in the big voice here. Show. Get your big voice out. Oh, uh, I play Susan McCormick, and uh, she's one of the leads in the musical. Mm-hmm. And and what's the what's the plot? What are we talking about here? Oh, so it's about four students uh, looking at the yearbook and sort of thinking back about all the events over the years and their flashbacks, and that's where and that's where all the rest of the scenes are. So mm-hmm. it sort of bounces back and forth with them looking at the yearbook and then uh, events in the high school. So so what's your character's big deal? Um. So Susan is part of the yearbook committee, and she's the yearbook editor. And later, her big scene, well, my big scene, um, Columbine, is where she goes and interviews the mother of uh, one of the classmates who died in a car crash. Mm -hmm. So that's the big scene. Um, That's some heavy stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. The mother actually is played by my mom (laughs) so that we could interact together. So Uh my mom... Plays a part in the musical as uh-huh. uh, Leslie's mom. Uh, okay. That's cool. Okay. That sounds good. Here comes <laughs> Robin Bailey Orchard. <laughs> I'm so glad I amuse you. <laughs> I'm so proud of these kids. We uh-huh. had to do something none of us had ever done because of the uh-huh. COVID restrictions. We had to cancel our musical last year, but we were determined to do theater this year. And our mm-hmm. fall play. Oh my goodness! It was it was fun, but we basically recorded Google Meets, and my tech director Tegan McCune edited to, them together, and we posted it on YouTube. Mm-hmm. I mean, we didn't even try to charge for it. We were just glad to do a show. But th- and we were I was determined to do Fiddler again this year because it was such a great show. But it came down to the restrictions didn't lift, and in December, my vocal director, <laughs> Dr. Jason Rummel, said. <laughs> Because he knew how badly I, I kept postponing and trying to do it. Mm. And he just looked at me and said, it would not be prudent. And he was right. We just ha- we'd had to give up on this. So we chose this because it was episodic. Mm. And I didn't want to have to film the kids in masks. Without being able to see faces, it, it really would diminish the show. So Jason Rummel and Zach Carter, who's the band director, we, they thought, let's video this. Mm-hmm. We took a storeroom, created a studio with a green screen. Uh-huh. And the kids rehearsed with me online via Google Meets. And then we had a filming schedule. And for instance, these four would come in. Mm -hmm. One of them would go in the studio without a mask. The other three would wait in the hall and say their lines. 
And we would record the students one at a time. And then Zach Karcher used Adobe Suite to edit the, the four Put them all in the room. Together. And the not it thing started because who wants to film first Uh and whoever filmed last had the advantage because they had done the scene four times sure and so those who were um not paying as much attention or a bit too sleepy (laughs) were the last to say not it so which was the case this morning yes and and (laughs) that's why they said it it's the rule or something Uh yes it's not a game it's the law it's the law that's oh yeah oh that was so that was fun but we did do our some big production numbers on our stage Uh uh-huh um, the, they they filmed from the balcony, and then my student teacher, Miss Taylor um, Jasinski, held what is it called a stabilizer to hold the okay. camera. Right. Mm-hmm. So we had different shots of that, and the kids are masked on the you know and six feet apart on the stage. Mm-hmm. But Dr. Jason Rummel has a rec- vocal recording studio, so you guys can talk about coming in to record the vocals again that were mixed in and then overlaid the video, so everyone sounds very crisp. There's no muffled. It, it really is pretty cool. I'm, so when you tell us that you had to do something you never had to do before, boy, did you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies, uh, we're going to stay with the ladies for just a second. Uh, and and <laughs> the two of you can tell us about what she just said about, about the musical performances. But again, we need to reintroduce you and, and you can tell us who you play. Okay. Um, my name is Lizzie Villa and I played Beth Winters, a yearbook photographer. Uh-huh. Okay. All right, so tell me about this music that she's talking about and, and how you were able to do this. Wait, like the actual music of it? Or like, no, I think he means like the recording rooms or something. Oh, okay. Yeah, the recording rooms. Okay. I thought the recording rooms were actually pretty cool. Uh-huh. Graffiti. Yeah. It was just like a green room, and there was a bunch of like tech equipment and cameras. Oh, no, like the recording, oh, like the recording for the music. <laughs> right, okay. So yeah. we converted one of the practice rooms into mm-hmm. like, voice recording so we put like fo- they put like really fancy foam on the walls and there was a microphone and a headset and then down the hall dr rummel would uh talk would have had also had a microphone and a headset we could talk to each other and record uh uh-huh. i just love watching these guys <laughs> the arms are going everywhere it's great it's great let's go see the, the guys over here and and reintroduce them uh and and we'll go tallest to shortest this time uh if, if that's okay by you reintroduce yourself Okay, so my name is Sam Nepper. And you play? I play Jack Cherney. He is a basketball player. Yeah, basketball. Um, a basketball player who, in his big scene, is wanting to impress his dad by winning the state championships, mm-hmm. which their high school has never won before. Mm-hmm. But he messes up the final big shot. Spoiler. Spoiler. No spoiler spoilers. Alert. Okay, okay. Ignore. Okay, <laughs> let's just say it's um. There's this big scene with a dad. It's a developing <laughs> story between the dad and the son. Yeah, and it since we couldn't get a teacher to play it. Well, it, we could have. But we we could have, but we got my actual dad to play the scene. Yeah. So that's that cool. Was, that was really. Cool. That's cool. That's cool. Um, yes. Yeah. So we. Yeah. Here comes here comes Robin. The cool thing. <laughs> Kids, I ask you. <laughs> Because of the limits of the COVID, the yes. kids could not be more than six feet without masks. Yes. Less but than. by having Maisie's mom play uh-huh. the scene with her, they could sit right next to each other. Uh-huh. And then having Sam's dad play the scene with him, yeah. they could be cl- closer yeah. without masks. Yeah. But we had one huge complication that luckily worked out. Sam, tell us about it. <laughs> so, yeah, my, my dad um, came down with COVID. And we had to quarantine almost right before we had to record the scene. Oh, yeah. But thankfully, thankfully, we, um, and, well, there was this other issue where if I got tested and it came back negative, I could go and record. Uh But if I got tested and it came back positive, we had to restart the quarantine all over again. Uh So there was drama all over here. Drama. My goodness gracious. This is this is a play within a play. Uh, we're running out of time here. We need to reintroduce you and tell us about your character. I am uh, Michael Wigner, and I played Eric Granby. Uh-huh. He is in ROTC at his school, which is an Army program mm-hmm. before you actually join the Army. Mm-hmm. He is more of a shy character. 
he doesn't like to talk about himself a ton, and he is like best friends with Jack. Yeah. So good things going on. So did you enjoy this this whole process as, as technical as it was and as different as it was? I loved the process. Did you really? That's one of the most fun things for me is getting to learn all the music and learn the choreography. It's fun to see what you can do. Yeah, especially with the resilience that is required in this day and age, huh? You did it. Congratulations on putting it all together. Now, you, I have four cast members here. How large is this whole ensemble of actors and uh, directors and producers and supporters of various kinds and stage managers? What do you got? 20? 20. That's, a, that's an awful lot of coordination that has to happen uh, in, in very special times. So, so congratulations to you all for doing it. We want to know the information once again. When can people watch this? How can people watch this? And and all of the all of the bones here of it. Here we go. One of you has to speak at this moment. Okay. Um, <laughs> Saturday at seven thirty and Sunday at two p.m. at IJS Drama at BookTiy dot com for five dollars. It's your book collection. Book ticks. I can't read at <laughs> BookTix dot com. Please buy it. It's only five dollars. And we worked really hard on it. It would mean a lot to us if you did. Well, yeah, absolutely. You did a wonderful job. Once more, give the website. IJHS Drama at BookTix.com. IJHS Drama at BookTix.com. No, you did fine. Okay. You did fine. This is B-O-O-K-T-I-X dot com. B-O-O-K-T-I-X dot com. Very good. You all did a wonderful job, and thanks for coming in to visit with us today. Wish you the best for this weekend, and uh, and, and Robin, to you too. You have Thank quite you. the crew here that you brought so in this wonderful. morning. Yeah. Thank you so much for having us. Thank it you. is our pleasure. It is our pleasure. All righty. It is the voice of Indiana County, WCCS 101.1 FM and AM 11, 6.1 FM and AM 11, 6.